In late September, 400,000 people filled the streets of New York to demand that the UN take action on climate. That was the largest demonstration about anything in the US for some years and the largest demonstration about climate change in history. Those people were joined that day by protesters in 2,600 other cities around the world. The world's first truly global problem is seeing the world's first truly global movement, and it is beginning to have an effect. The same night of that march in New York, the heirs to the Rockefeller fortune announced that they were divesting their holdings in fossil fuel company. The first family of fossil fuel was selling its oil stock. In so doing, In so doing, they joined institutions from Stanford University to the Church of Sweden, and hopefully soon the city of Stockholm and many others in this green-minded country. Just as 30 years ago, when the question was apartheid in South Africa, the world's people are coming together to withdraw their money from the companies that simply refuse to change their practices. Those companies, Exxon, Shell, Chevron, Gazprom, China Coal, BP, all the rest, have in their combined reserves five times more carbon than the world's scientists say we can safely burn. And yet those companies have told their shareholders and their banks that they will dig up that coal and oil and gas and burn it. If they carry out those business plans, then there is no mystery about how this story ends. The planet will simply break. And so we must fight peacefully but firmly 